Hi everybody, how are you doing? I trust that you are having a great afternoon thus far. I'm just jumping on here today to bring you another video, another one that I'm hoping you will gain value from and you're able to use it to help you on your journey. Yes, guys. So today we will be talking about transitioning from chemical here to having natural nice beautiful curls yes that's what we'll be talking about and if you see me looking to the side i just have my notes because i don't want to miss any of my points and i have 11 points to share with you today okay and so um i know that transitioning from chemical process here to natural here it can be quite a journey a journey that can be frustrated but today i'm here to try to help you on the journey so the journey will become easier okay, okay guys all right so let's jump right into it remember we're talking about transitioning to natural here so the first one i i want to um to talk with you about is gradual when you're transition you want to make sure you're you're doing a gradual process don't do it easily don't think that you're going to transition you're going to start your transition today and by the end of the week you're gonna be at the end of transition and you're gonna become um, natural no it doesn't work like that you are gonna have a few um, you're gonna have to trim sometimes you're gonna have to treat your ends your chemical ends you're going to have to minimize um a hazardness of the change and allow and allow yourself to get to the point where you're able to manage your natural texture because you're you're just used to your hair being chemically processed you're used to be able to just manage your hair because the chemical did that for you but when it comes to managing your natural hair it is going to be a learning curve it's gonna be challenging but it can be done yes it can be done the next step i want to um address is deep condition if you have not done deep conditioning before when you're transitioning this is a treatment that you must include as this will offer nourishment and it will also strengthen your hair you're gonna look for products with moisturizing ingredients like shea butter olive oil and avocado oil those will help you in the process of deep conditioning the next the third step is protective styling protective stylings why you want to do protective styling is that this is going to allow you to touch your hair less and when you touch your hair less then you will reap better results from your hair our hair does not like to be bothered the more we leave our hair alone is the more our hair thrives and so in transitioning you want to leave your hair alone so you want to put it in protective styles like braids um, twists those will help you to not have to touch in your hair every day and it will lessen the manipulation that you do to your hair our hair does not like to be manipulated every day no it doesn't thrive like that these styles will help to protect your hair as you transition and to reduce risk of breakage mm -hmm. and then let's move to the fourth one is 
regularly moisturize your hair you want to regularly moisturize your hair and why would you want to regularly moisturize your hair this helps to prevent breakage and promote healthy growing hair use less um you yes, use yeah you want to use um leave-in conditioners you want to use hydrating sprays and you want to use um diy moisturizers that will help you in your transition process and then we want to talk about trimming so you wanna when you're trimming you wanna set up um a schedule on which you're gonna trim your hair to remove the chemical treated ends you wanna tr trimming is going to help maintain the health of your natural hair and prevent split ends and this is a big one when it comes to process hair and even your natural hair and this will also prevent split ends from traveling up the strands of or the shaft of your hair we kind of touch on this one this is the sixth one we kind of touch on it a bit which is low manipulation styles you want to opt for low manipulation styles as they will minimize um brushing and reduces stress to your hair because when we keep manipulating we're here yes our hair becomes stressed out so we want to um manip um we want to not do that our seventh step is to educate yourself as you transition as i said before it's gonna be challenging it's gonna it's a process you want to educate yourself on like the texture of your hair how do you care for that specific um, texture that you have what does your type of hair needs in order to um, to thrive to thrive rather this knowledge when you develop this knowledge this will help you to choose right products and techniques for your specific Hair, and that is very very important the next one is key we're at the eighth one the next one is key and this is patience is key we you want to develop patience and why you want to develop patience in the transition process it takes time and result may not be immediate so if you don't have patient you patience you won't be ready to wait to have patience to wait to see the progress as you move forward on your journey be patient embrace the journey celebrate each milestone in your natural hair growth okay the next one we want to talk about is the ninth one which is trimming versus big chop why i don't recommend big chop is for one of the specific reason is that if you are not used to short hair and if you don't like short hair and you have to do a big chop then your the journey is going to become harder for you so that's why i always encourage is leave your hair and then you trim the ends of the the treated the chemically treated ends of your hair gradually so you don't do a big chop to remove all the chemical treated hair at once the big chop can be liberating can be a liberating experience for some for some people it's not embracing your natural hair from the start is also helpful Number 10 is to consult with a profession professional. If you're unsure about the best approach, consider consulting with a natural hair specialist um, that is able to help you to personalize and advise you and support you on your journey. 
finally, but by no means least, community support. You want to find a community that, um, and when I say community, find like a group, you have Facebook groups with people who have transitioned before and people who are in the process of transitioning. If you find people in, if you find a group with people of such like-mindedness, then they're able to support you on your journey. You're able to celebrate milestones together as it relates to your hair care journey. Remember also, so that's it. And the final thing that I want to leave with you is remember that transitioning to natural hair is a personal journey. Some people are able to do it quicker than others. It doesn't mean that you're not able to get there. And there is no one size fit all approach. Embrace the unique beauty of your natural curls and enjoy the process of discovering and caring for your hair. It's caring for your hair in its natural state. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember that in everything, put God first and he will direct your path. Bye-bye. See you later. Blessings. Not use less.